Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the length of the missing side of a triangle using SOKATOA. So SO stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That's a SO. CA stands for cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA stands for tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Most students would ask, when do I use the SO? When do I use the CA? When do I use the TOA? Or we, how, when do I use any of these three? The, the, the answer to the problem is it all depends on whatever's given in the triangle. So this means that we need to label the triangle or we need to label the sides of the triangle as either opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. And from there, we would be able to know which of these three, so CA or TOA, should we use in order to solve for the missing side. Now let's take this first example here. So this is the angle. This is 53 degrees, and we are supposed to determine the X value here. So we, again, the first step is to label the uh, parts or the sides of the triangle. This side right here from 53 is adjacent. So I'm going to label this as adjacent. And this side right here is across from the 53. So this is the opposite. So I labeled it adjacent and opposite. Now notice that the first, there's, it's missing here. So we don't really need to label it because it's not, it doesn't have any value. So, but then notice that we have an adjacent and we have an opposite. So we go back here, that's opposite and hypotenuse. So it doesn't work because we have an adjacent and opposite. This is adjacent and hypotenuse, but this is adjacent and opposite. So we got the third one. So the one that we're gonna use here is TOA. So we're gonna use TOA because again, we have adjacent and opposite. We have opposite and adjacent. So then we can go ahead and set up our equation that would be tangent. So we're gonna use this one right here. The theta represents the angle. So that's tangent 53 is equal to the opposite. So the opposite here is um, 17. So I'm gonna write 17 over. The uh, adjacent is x. So I'm going to put X at the bottom. Now we remember that this one has a denominator, invisible denominator of 1. So then we can go ahead and cross multiply these two and cross multiply these two. So we are able to pair, pair them up. So that is X tangent of 53 is equal to 1 times 17 is just 17. So then from here, we want the x. So we are dividing both sides by tangent 53. So that's tangent 53. Divide this by tangent 53. So then we can cross out the tangent 53. Our x value for this, if we use the calculator, we have 12.81. Now, here's a very important thing that we need to remember. Make sure that your uh, calculator is set up in degrees. Now, if you test it and you, you divide 17 divided by tangent 53 and it doesn't come out 12.81, most likely it is not in degree. It's probably in radian. So please have your calculator in degree. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer, Okay, so we go over this problem here. Again, we use the acronym SO, CA, and TOA. So again, which of these should we use? It all depends on whatever's given in the triangle. So then putting label to the sides of the triangle that are given to us, it's very imperative so that we are able to solve whatever's missing um, side. So in this case right here, we have 37 degrees. Across from it is X, so we can label this as opposite. And then this side right here is the adjacent, I mean the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse right here. So I'm gonna label this as the hypotenuse. So then from here, we can tell that we have an O and an H. So we are going to use the SO. So we, the acronym that we're going to use here is SO because again, we have opposite, 
left and hypotenuse. So then we can go ahead and set up our equation that would be sine 37 degrees is equal to so opposite over hypotenuse. So then that is x over hypotenuse is 25. And again, we remember that there is an invisible denominator of one under sine 37. So then we can go ahead and cross multiply these two and cross multiply these two. One times x is just x. So then that's x is equal to 25 and then sine 37 degrees. So then um, we use a calculator on this. This should give us 15.05. And this is the length of the opposite side from 37. Did you get 15.05 is your answer to the third, second one right here? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the Third one right here. Again, um, it is very important that we label the part so we know which of these would work. So from 47 degrees, we know that the longest side across the um, 90 is always the hypotenuse. So I can label this as the hypotenuse. So I got an H. So the possible options that I can have would be so or ca because this one doesn't have a hypotenuse on it. So it's either between these two. And this 13 right here is adjacent from 47 degrees. So I label this as adjacent. So then from here, we can go ahead and say there is a combination of A and H. So then we are going to use the ca which is the cosine um, ratio. So we go ahead and write cosine of 47 degrees is equal to cosine adjacent. The adjacent is 13 over the hypotenuse is x. And again, we remember there is an invisible denominator of one to this. So then we go ahead and cross multiply these two cross multiply these two so we are able to pair them up so that would come out x cosine 47 is equal to 1 times 13 is just 13 and then we want x by itself so we divide both sides by cosine 47 divide this by cosine 47 so we can cross this out so we are left with if you use the calculator, x is, we divide 13 divided by cosine 47, should be 19.06. Again, if you don't get 19.06 and you set them up correctly, that means it is not in degree. All uh, calculators should be set up in degrees to get this answer right here. Did you get 19.06 as your answer to the third one? Good, perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!